Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this professional looking slideshow. The first thing we're gonna do is make a new sequence. So in our project panel, let's right click, go up to new item and sequence. And then we can go to settings and uh, we can make it to whatever we want. And then I'm gonna rename my sequence to day at the beach slideshow. And then I'm gonna grab all my photos that I want in my slideshow and drop them into the timeline. Now you're gonna see that these photos aren't properly to scale. So to fix this, we just need to highlight them all, right click and then scale to frame. Now you're gonna see that some of them have black bars on the sides or tops because the aspect ratio isn't the same. So what we need to do is just highlight our clip, go up to effect controls and we can scale the position to what we want. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly adjust the rest of them. Next, I wanna duplicate all my images. So what I'm gonna do is highlight them all, hold option and drag them up to video track three. And then we can hit that little eye to turn off this video layer for now. Okay, now we wanna make that out of focus background. So we're gonna to go to our effects panel and we're gonna search for Gaussian blur. Drag and drop that onto our first image. And then up in effect controls, we're gonna change the blurriness to 50. Now we wanna apply this to the rest of our photos. So all we need to do is just highlight the effect, right click and go to copy, and then highlight the rest of our bottom track images and just hit command V to paste. Now you'll see the effect has been applied to all our images. Okay, next I'm gonna turn back on our video track three. Then I'm gonna highlight that first image and go up to effect controls to scale it back down. And then I wanna add a white border to this. So I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool. And then from here, I can just go up to the program monitor and draw a white rectangle around our image. Once happy with the shape, I'm just gonna move this back down to video track two. And then with that shape layer highlighted, I can go up to effect controls and under motion, I can make any adjustments I want to the position. Okay, now I wanna add a drop shadow onto our photo so that there's a little separation between the photo and the background. So we're gonna go up to effect controls and we're gonna search for drop shadow. And then we can drag and drop that onto our shape layer. Then we're gonna go back up to effect controls and under drop shadow, we're gonna change the opacity to 100%, the direction to 130, the distance to 20, and the softness to about 22. This will vary depending on the size of your border. Once that's looking good, I'm gonna go back down to my timeline and highlight the photo and the border. Right click and go to nest sequence. Click okay. And now we can edit the photo and border together. Now we're gonna animate things a little bit. I'm gonna highlight that nested sequence, go up to effect controls. And we're gonna hit the stopwatch on the first frame of our image on position and scale to set keyframes. Then I'm gonna scale it down slightly then I'll go to the last frame of my image and scale it back up to apply another keyframe. This is gonna give us a nice motion to our image. Okay, then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the same step that I just did to the rest of my photos in my timeline. Once completed, you'll see that we have a nice little slideshow. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.